and we should probably talk about your genesis nft yeah. or nfts then because like i think the way you did it was pretty intentional and thoughtful thank you i yeah i uh i i really wanted to lead with my best i think a popular intimate at the time that i was like trying to figure out how to enter the space how to how to mint my work like which pieces that i meant a a popular sentiment was to like save your best work it was to save your best work until you could like gain some traction build a pool of collectors and then potentially once your like prices started to be higher or like in the range that you wanted them ideally you would start to sell you know your best pieces but hold on to them until then and i just like completely rejected that idea i i think that you know if i had been doing it for 10 years and i made the best art of my entire career in the first 10 years that doesn't bode well for the next 10 years like you have to keep improving and you have to be confident that you're going to be able to make better work in the future so i just fled with my best i took i took essentially my favorite images i had ever taken the entire course of my career and I narrowed it down to three shots and I called it hearth and it was this like collective you know three piece sort of unit of of images from completely different biomes one was from the desert one was from uh, like the deep Canadian Rockies and the other one was from Alaska so it was like just three different parts of the world three different you know environments and like all three um i i think that sh- that sh- sh- shots that are like really meaningful have this kind of x factor there's like there's like three major things that i look for in a shot and it's like uh one is like you have to put yourself there that's the most important thing you have to put yourself in the place and just be prepared for an event to happen like be prepared for the sun or the or or the or the you know wildlife or the light or the storm whatever happens like you just have to be there be present the next is having the mechanical skill to actually capture it if or when it does happen so you need to have those two things the third thing is the thing that you can't predict it's it's whatever pops up that you didn't plan on on being there that really makes the shot sort of unrecreatable in a way i don't want my i work to be able to be replicated i want these shots to be like you know kind of one of a kind in a way and so i i took three of those shots that i believed hit all those arcs and i made a like a 10 minute video where i i I printed out big prints and i framed them of each shot and i told the story behind them each of these shots has like a pretty fascinating story behind how it came about and how i caught it and i figured that like half the half the 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 part of falling in love with these art pieces isn't just like the pretty colors and the scene but actually knowing what went into it physically and and, you know the time and the luck required to to get these shots might be much more than people would think just by looking at them so i just wanted to really make sure people like understood kind of what goes into adventure photography since it was still very very new in the space there really like wasn't a lot of people doing it so I just wanted to sort of solidify the, uh, I guess, the uniqueness in people's heads. <laughs>